Mark, you mentioned BitLocker, and it seems like a lot of organizations have said, hey, we've got BitLocker, we're done with full disk mm -hmm. encryption, where you know, our data is secure. What's wrong with that? Um, well, BitLocker is uh, a, a good encryption product. Uh, encryption, the actual encrypting of the data on the device has become something that's commoditized. Mm -hmm. you know, as I mentioned before, whether you use software, if you use the operating system encryption, or you use self-encrypting drives. Um, where the difficulty comes is further up the stack in the management of that. So for instance, um, traditional BitLocker management um, only allows machine management. There's no user management. Mm. So in large enterprises and you know small and medium businesses, uh, user-based authentication is a much more useful tool. So the ability for multiple people to use one device without having to remember the password for the device, they can use their own personal password, which then authenticates back to the server. Right. Um, so what we've done is we've layered our capabilities of PV Connects, pre-boot authentication, on top of BitLocker. So we don't just manage BitLocker, we take that to the whole new level. So we add in the functionality that I mentioned before about PV Connects, the ability to uh, you know, easily set passwords, save about 75% on password resets. Also the ability to uh, provision and manage um, devices with BitLocker seamlessly and easily. Right, and then this user-based authentication, which is really changing the game. So, it's giving the the actual encryption is not the diff is not the difficult part. It's the actual management of these devices throughout right. the enterprise. Not all devices might have Windows Enterprise. Some could be Mac platforms, some could be um, iOS or Android, and you want a place where you can centrally manage all these devices throughout the the enterprise. 